The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, twenty sixth chapter, text number forty two, given by His Divine Grace A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on January seventeenth, nineteen seventy five, in Bombay, India. Although originally one, taste becomes manifold as astringent, sweet, bitter, pungent, sour, and salty due to contact with other substances. Kashayam madurastikta katbamla iti nai kada bhautikana vikarena rasa yeka vividdhate rasa test is one, but it becomes varieties by uh, different combination of bhautikāna, material elements. This is chemistry. Chemistry means mixing of different chemicals and produces another element, just like soap. Uh, soap is mixture of fat and soda. Uh, so fat, oil is something else, and soda is another thing. But if you carefully mix them together, it becomes soap. So the whole world is the mixture of these five elements, khiti of uh, fire, water, tejo barimit vinimayam. The Sanskrit word is tejo bari mrit vinimayam. Mrit means this earth, and tejo means fire, and bari means water. You take earth, mix with water, and put it into the fire, it becomes brick. Uh, then you take another mixture that becomes cement, and take the help of cement, and take the help of brick, then construct a house. So whole material world is nothing but Tejo Barimit Vinimayam, exchange of elementary, this earth, water, and fire. The same principle uh, here also test. Uh, just like we cook, uh, the same oil, ghee, and salt, and turmeric, but we prepare different preparations, uh, hundred, two hundred preparations. Simply by the process of mixing art. So that is going on. Now, uh, by Krishna's energy, parasya shakti vividhai musriyate, his energy is working in such subtle way, mysterious way. Therefore, Krishna is known as Yogesha. Now, the same art. Same water, but the seed different. So one tree is coming to produce chili, another tree is coming out to produce tomato, another tree is coming out to produce mango. Different taste. Mango is sweet, eh? tomato is sour, chili is pungent. But these things are required, varieties. Although the source is one, source is one, the earth, but the earth contains all other five elements. Khiti, Aap, Tejo, Bari, Marut, Bom, everything is there in the earth. Everything is there, and by the expert uh, handling of the prakriti and behind the prakriti, Krishna, varieties of things are coming. Uh, 
this is uh, Krishna consciousness. How things are coming by the uh, handling, expert handling of Krishna. Maya dhakshena prakriti svati sacharatana. The blunt scientists, they are saying simply prakriti is the cause of these varieties, but that is not the fact. The fact is, uh, it is the Krishna's manipulation, mixture, mixing of the elements and different varieties of Krishna. Uh, <clears throat> Parasya shakti vividaiva suryate. Suryate. You cannot see how Krishna is handling, but suryate. You can understand from the suti by the Vedic literature, as it is said here. Eh? Kasaya, madhura, stikta, kotu, amla, iti, naikatha. Bhautikānāṁ vikārena rasāyika vividvati. Bhautikānāṁ vikārena. Just like uh, earth, water, fire, air, they are bhauti. But they are not mixing together. The original uh, I mean, it's a manipulator, is Krishna. Just like we have got experience, I have given just now experience, that uh, oil is there. Uh, suppose oil is acid and soda is called alkali. The acid is there, alkali is there. But when a person comes, mix it proportionately, it becomes another product. So, uh, Similarly, everything is being manufactured like that. But how it is done? Uh, that, that is the expert handling of the Supreme Law. Parasya Shakti Vividhaiva Sviyati. He has got multi energies, subtle laws, and is working. But still he has nothing to do himself. That is God. Natasya Karjam Karananja Vidyati. Although he is handling, he is doing everything, otherwise how it is possible? We have got experience. There is oil and there is alkali or soda, but they are not mixing together. For mixing together, you require another living energy. Uh, otherwise, automatically there cannot be soap. The soap factory is there, but the manufacturer is also there. So we have to understand in that way that so many varieties, natural varieties, uh, are coming out, uh, not automatically. The blind scientists, they say, they are coming automatically. Uh, that is not very good sense. Nothing can come automatically. <coughs> Matter cannot come together automatically. There is some machine or handling, parasya shakti we will, uh, he, he is doing that, and still he is doing nothing. Uh, that is just like if I have to make soap, I have to do it, or I can ask my servant to do it. Uh, I can give instruction to my assistant, servant, they do like this. So anyway, the background is myself. The background is neither the servant nor the uh, ingredients. There is another example, the potter's wheel. Potter's wheel <coughs> is producing earthen pots. So. What is the cause? Somebody will say that the uh, dirt, uh, earth is the cause of this pot because it is made of earth. Another will say, no, the cause is the wheel because the wheel is going round, therefore it is coming up. These two causes, prakriti and pradhan, ingredients, and the instrument, they are not causes. The cause is the cause is the potter. 
Cause is the potter. The potter is giving a force going round. You have seen it with the rod. It moves like that. When the wheel is in motion, then the earth is brought into a shape of different shape of parts. Uh, therefore, material cause, uh, remote cause, efficient cause, they are not cause. Real cause is Krishna. Sarva karana karanam, Ishara parama Krishna, Sachidananda vigra, Anadi, Adi, Govinda, Sarva karana karanam. Uh, so that is confirmed in the Vedic literature, Upanisha, Parasya Shakti, Vividhai Vasriyate. His energy is working. Uh, the same earth, the same seed, uh, ingredient of the seed. There, there is variety of the seed also. Therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Bijo Hang Sarva Bhutana. I am the seed, seedling. Uh, the same process. There is a seed of rose tree you put into the uh, earth and pour water, a rose tree will come up. They similarly looking another uh, chili seed, but it will come chili. Uh, the earth is the same, water is the same. Uh, just like on the river side, there are many trees. They are eatable with the same water, standing in the same earth. But different trees are coming out. Different taste, fruit, different flower, different, it's all different. So therefore, the difference is there in the seed. So you cannot understand, you cannot chemically analyze the seed, a small seed, but the potency. Is so strong. So you cannot study this by your so called physical or chemical science. Uh, that we have to understand, as Krishna says, Bijo Hang Sarva Bhutana. I am the sea. But such subtle things, how it is coming out? In a small sea. What is the chemical composition? Uh, you put the seed, show the seed anywhere and put little water, that tej of body make, minimum. Uh, but the things are coming out differently. How the variety is possible? Therefore, we cannot mix up. There is rose scent within the earth. Otherwise, where from the rose is getting its scent? There is punna prithibhyaancha. <coughs> Prithibhyam, on this earth, there are uh, potency of different flavor, different taste. Now let the chemist come and take the earth and make different taste. That is not possible. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, you cannot simply say that prakriti is the cause of everything. No. Prakriti is there, the same water. Prakriti means earth, water, air, fire. The same water is there, the same fire is there, same water is there, and same earth is there. The why varieties are coming? You make, you take from the water, from the earth, varieties of smell, varieties of taste. Eh? <coughs> so uh, that you cannot do. This is Krishna consciousness. We have to accept the statement of Krishna as he says, Bijo Hang Sarva Bhutana. I am the cause. And the Shastra confirms it. Sarva Karana Karanam. He is the original cause of everything. So in this way we have to study everything and ultimately if we come to the point of Krishna, uh, then our knowledge is perfect. Otherwise it is imperfect. Kavibhi nirupikam. Jad uttama sloka guna anubannana. 
ಇದಿ ಪುಂಸಸ್ತಪಸ್ಸುತಃಸ್ವ ಶಿಷ್ಟಸೂಕ್ತಸ್ತ ಅಭಿಚಿತೋ ಆರ್ಥ ಕವಿ ನಿರೂಪಿತ ಜದ್ ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಗುಣ ಅನುವರ್ಣನ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬಾಟನಿಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫಿಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮನ್ ಸೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಟಾನಿ ಬಯಾಲಜಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ so that do that very good you have become large very big scientist very big botanist uh, and similarly uh, from other point of view pious activities he become very uh, noble a man of charity or tapasya or austerities penance and so many things in the spiritual line gyan jo karma that's all right as you deal with material science you become big mathematician chemist physician or lawyer and so many naturalist similarly spiritually you become konmi gyani yogi uh, do that there is not discourage uh, but what for you are trying why you are trying to become a chemist or physicist or a man of charitable disposition education is why and if i ask if anybody ask then why you try to become a scientist what is the aim of your life uh, what will be the answer possible answer uh, the materialist will say for uh, developing civilization uh developing civilization means to in their view developing the process of sense gratification that's right. but shastra says no not that that is not the aim you become a great scientist there is no harm at why you should become a scientist now shastra says uh, <coughs> that uh, avichito artha artha means purpose if somebody asks what is the purpose of becoming scientist what is the purpose of becoming physicist so different men will give different answers it is meant for this purpose it is meant for this purpose but kobi bhi those are actually learning uh, advanced learning they had said that avichito avichita means without any failure without any contradiction you say that chemistry is required for this purpose i say chemistry is required for this purpose another man says chemistry is required for this purpose but uh, difference of opinion that is not accept avichita infallible purpose what is that infallible purpose avichita artha kobi bhi nirupita nirupita means it is already settled you haven't got to make research anymore nirupita means it is already concluded what is that jad uttam shloka guna anubannanam if you can explain the activities of krishna uttam shloka uh, how he is acting how is the chemical process is going on under his direction if you can uh, write a thesis on this subject matter that ultimately krishna is behind that then your the study of chemistry is perfect avichita artha kavi bhi nirupita nirupita means it is concluded no more argument that is the purpose that means if you are intelligent enough actually then through any source of knowledge you come ultimately to krishna ah huh? that maya dhakshena prakriti suyate sachat the krishna says but if by your education if you come to the same point that here is krishna 
He is in the background. Sarva karana karanam, cause of all causes. Then education is perfect. Otherwise it is samaye vahitevalam. Otherwise it is simply laboring uh, for nothing, waste of time. Uh, this is the purpose. Avichita artha kavibhi nirupita. Jaduttama sloka gunanvannana. <coughs> so, uh, parasya shakti vividhaiva svyate. Uh, very, very big chemistry, physical laws, mathematics, everything is required to understand the uh, potency of God, how He is working. Actually, everything is being done by His potency. Uh, here, the different taste, the material is the same, but the uh, method of mixing the material, uh, different tastes are coming out in existence. So how that expertly management of mixing is going on, uh, if we can explain by our chemistry, by our mathematics, by our, then our studying of chemistry is perfect. Then we are perfect. Uh, <coughs> Another place, atapung vidija sresa varna sama vibhagas sanu sthitasya dharmasya saṅsiddhi haritosanam Haritosanam is the uh, ultimate goal. Sakarmana tama bharcha saṅsiddhi bindate nara the Bhagavad Gita. Sakarmana tama bharcha. You become a chemist, it doesn't matter. You become a physicist, mathematician, it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, uh, due to the collegio, uh, as soon as one becomes a big chemist, doctor of chemistry, he says, I am God. There is no need of God. As soon as the little sapari janamatre no parphalayate, you will see the small fishes, they are practically on the edge of the water and making parphal parphal. The big fishes, they are down the water. <coughs> so these so-called uh, material chemists, they are nothing, a small fish. Uh, those who are big chemists, big scientists, just like Professor Einstein, he used to accept how God's brain is working. He appreciated. He was a great scientist. And the ordinary scientists science, they think that now we have we are able to do everything uh, without God, uh, therefore we are bigger than God. That is not fair. You are greater scientists when by your scientific knowledge you prove the existence of God and how He is working so finely that varieties of things are coming out of material nature. That is perfection of knowledge. Uh, otherwise, sānuṣṭhita uh, sa dharmasya saṅśiddhi haritosana. That is haritosana. Unless Krishna sees that you are trying to glorify Him by your knowledge, then He becomes satisfied that I have given Him some knowledge and He is utilizing this knowledge for my glorification. He is my devotee. The body's business is to glorify. He doesn't take any credit for himself. Actually, there is nothing to be taken credit. Uh, the, all credit goes to Krishna. Uh, uh, a devotee neither claims, neither it is possible. Even he may be very, very big devotee. Uh, he will never claim any credit for his glorious activities. His glorious activities means to Make Krishna holy, glorious. That is his glorious activity. Not that, like the so-called materialist, he takes, wants to take the credit. No. Sakarvana tama bharcha saṅsiddhi lavate nara. Sakarvana. You may be engaged in any pattern of work, any department of work. But by dint of your work, you establish the existence of God, Krishna, and whatever is being done 
it is being done by the expert management of Krishna. The sun is rising exactly in the time, and it is setting exactly in the time, and the temperature according to the different season, the movement, uttarayan, dakhinayan, everything is managed so expertly under the order of the Supreme, maya dhakshena prakriti. Don't think the sun is working so nicely. Automatically, not automatically. The master is there. Krishna. Jasyagnaya brahmati saṅ vṛtakāla chakra. The sun is so powerful, substance within this universe. There are many millions of suns. This is one sun only. But it is carrying out the order of Krishna. Jachakshuri sasavita sagala grahana raja samastha suramati asesatija. Asesatija. Unlimited light, unlimited fire, unlimited heat. Asesa. Asesatija. There is no comparison with the sunlight, sun heat. There is no comparison within this universe. Unlimited. For millions and millions of years it is uh, from the sun, the light and heat is coming out, but there is no diminution. Uh, they, uh, it is the same uh, as it was millions of years ago, and after giving you light and heat for millions of years, the same quantity of light and heat is still there. So if it is possible for a material thing that after giving unlimited heat and light it remains the same, similarly the Supreme Lord, by expanding His uh, potencies, by His uh, um, energy, He remains the same. Uh, he does not diminish. Purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasusyati. So if we can see in the material object that the heat being emanated for many millions and millions, it remains the same heat. It maintains the same heat, same life. Why it is not possible for the Supreme? Therefore, Isha Upanishad informs us the purnasa purnamadaya purnameva vasusyati. If you take the whole energy of Krishna from Krishna, then still the whole energy is there. But you'll be surprised nowadays modern gods, there are so many modern gods, I do not wish to name, but one modern god, he gave his power to his disciple. And the, when he came into consciousness, then he was crying. The disciples inquired from the Guru, Why you are crying, sir? No, I, I have finished everything. I have given you everything. I have given you everything, therefore I am now finished. That is not spiritual, that is material. I have got hundred rupees. If I pay you hundred rupees, then my pocket is empty. But Krishna is not like that. Krishna can make hundreds of thousands and millions of Krishna. He still is Krishna. That is Krishna. The potency is never exhausted. That is called purna sapurna madaya, purna meva So this imitation, God will not help us. A real God, a real God, Ishara Paramat Krishna, Satchidananda Vigraha, Anadi Radi Govinda, Sarvakarana Karana. Sarvakarana Karanam, he never exhausts, he is never exhausted. It is said that Jasyaika Nishasata Kalamathavalamba Jivanti Loma Vilaja Jagadanda Natha. Vishnu Mahan Sahaya Jasya Kalavishesha Govindamadi Purusam Tamangamaja. 
the millions of universes are coming out with this breathing period. And again they are annihilated when the breathing is taken inside. In this way the universes are coming out. Jagadanna Natha. Jagadanna Natha. Jagadanna means the universe. And Natha, the Lord of the universe, means Lord Brahma. So he has got a duration of life. And what is the duration of life? The breathing period of Mahavishnu. Jasaika Nishasita Kalamatha Valamba. Jivanti Loma Vilaja. Jagadanna Natha. Vishnu Mahan Sahya Jasya Kalavishis Govinda Madhikuri Samtama. That is God. And by breathing, uh, unlimited number of universes are coming out and going in. Uh, and the duration of existence of each and every universe is the duration of life of Brahma uh, that we cannot calculate. Even we cannot calculate his twelve hours. So that is God. We accept such kind of God, not a little magician, no. That is not us. We cannot accept such cheap gods. We accept Krishna, the Sarvakarna Karnam, and we want to be eternal servant. That is our actual position. Jive Sarupa Nitta Krishna Das. By His Unlimited potency, energy, unlimited universes are coming out with unlimited number of varieties of planets, and each planet is uh, differently situated, different atmosphere, different temperature. So in this way, varieties. Uh, that is ānanda. Krishna has created these varieties because he is ānandamaya bhyāsā, ānandamaya. Unless there is variety. So we are part and parcel of that variety maker. We are also one of the varieties. Jiva Shakti. We are also one of the varieties. So how we can become variety less? Need be says, that is not possible. Even artificially try to become need be says, variety less. Our constitutional position is that we want variety. How it can be stopped? Therefore, in the Shastra it is said, the so-called Mayavadi, impersonalist, monis, arujya krichena param padam tata, although they uh, get up to the position of oneness, monis, but from that position they fall down. Why? Anadita jusmadam rena, angri. Arujya kichina parang padang tato patanti adha anadita jusma tangra. Because they have no information of the lotus feet of Krishna where to enjoy ananda, ananda maya bhasa. And they are by nature seeking after ananda, the so called oneness, monism, uh, that will not please them. They will require again ananda. But because anadita jusma tangra, they have not worshipped Krishna's lotus feet, they come down again in this material world and worship the feet of Maya. That is their tradition. Arijya kritchena parana padang tato patanti adha. And as soon as you are engaged in the service of Maya, that is your adha patam. Adha patam. As we all this materialistic person who are within this material. You are serving Maya. Everyone is serving. Nobody is without serving. But they are serving Maya. So you have to transform. Transfer your service from Maya to Krishna. Then uh, your life will be successful and you will test uh, different varieties of prasadam uh, perpetually and enjoy life eternally and blissfully. Thank you very much.